Hey everybody, Randy here. Welcome to Let's Figure It Out. In this series, we review mods and features for Ark Survival Ascended on a PlayStation 5. Let's get started. Okay, in this video, we're gonna go over something in the CS mod. I've been wanting to play with this for a while, and it took me a little bit of time to figure out, but I think I've got it mostly figured out. And it's gonna be the CS Auto Crafter, and it's basically this white console that's right next to me here. So when you look at it, it says CS Auto Crafter, and it says what tribe, and underneath it says powered. When you look at the description inside, it says it will automatically craft items from other crafting stations. You place the crafting station in the inventory and press set crafting station. Then you use the next recipe button to select a recipe if the station has more than one. Then you click on the item to pull the materials and to activate it requires tech generator. Now I'm using a modded uh, generator over here. This is the automated arc generator, which has tech functions, but you can use a vanilla tech generator or a modded tech generator. Uh, if you wanted to power this. Now, when you go in here, it's kind of confusing. When you see this little card in here, it looks like that you need to place the CFS crafting station, the element, the smithy, the fabricator, and a generic artifact inside of here for it to work. But I've found that it works without that. So let me give, let me give you an example. Something that can be crafted in my inventory would be a stone arrow. So if you go down to select crafting station, you'll see here it says your character. Then you get this select recipe button. Under that, we're gonna go down to stone arrow. Now what I do is use the pull functions that's part of CS to pull and craft an arrow. I've got, let's say two, just so we can see how fast it is. Two arrows, we're gonna hit the pull function. And we're gonna hit the pull function and then all of the items go in there and then it automatically crafts it. Now you have to be careful with that because if you have multiple resources inside this structure, it'll probably just craft the one thing, but that could confuse you with other crafts that you may have going on at the same time. So I'm going to pull these arrows out and I'm going to put them up. Now, what's something that could be crafted in a smithy that's not crafted in my inventory. How about a shotgun shell? So I'm going to go under select recipe and I'm going to look for shotgun ammo. And there's not any shotgun ammo listed here. There's a whole lot of stuff that I can craft in my inventory, but shotgun ammo is not listed here. So what you would do in that situation is you would pick up a structure that can generate a shotgun shell. So I've got a regular smithy and I've got the CS crafting station, which is kind of like a smithy. You place that into the inventory of the auto crafter. Then you're going to go select crafting station. Then you would select smithy. And now you would go to recipes and you're going to look for the things that can be crafted inside of a smithy. Simple bullet, simple shotgun ammo. Now, one thing that it will do is it will pull from your storage inventories if you have simple bullets already crafted in the example of making a shotgun shell. So I've got one simple bullet made and I believe it's three in order to make a shotgun shell. So let's just see, we're gonna go here. We've selected shotgun shell. We're gonna select the recipe button. I just wanna make one. So we'll make one here. And then I'll hit the pull button and it says I am short two simple bullets. I don't have enough resources to pull. So then what I would do is come back in here, select simple bullet. We're going to craft two. So I already have one. We're going to pull and then it'll automatically craft double the amount as because it'll, it'll explain here. It produces two simple bullets and then your ingots and gunpowder that it's going to automatically pull for you. So we know it takes three simple bullets We're going to, uh, to make a shotgun shell. So we're going to go down here to simple sh uh, shotgun ammo. And then we're going to highlight the recipe card. We want to make one shotgun shell. We're going to pull for that. 
and then it would automatically craft that shotgun shell. Now, what's something that would be crafted in a fabricator that's not crafted in a smithy? Let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and pull that and pull that. So we're going to place, that's just the CS one in there. Let's say a shocking trank dart. How about that? We'll put CS. Select crafting station. CS crafting. Which is basically smithy. And we're going to look for a shocking trank dart. Alright. So let's just put dart. In the search. And we got a tranquilizer dart. That's just a basic tranquilizer dart. It's not a shocking trank dart. So let's place a fabricator inside the auto crafter. Then we're going to go to select crafting station. We're going to go down to fabricator. We're going to select recipe. And now we have a shocking trank dart available. Now I want to craft one of these. So I select the auto craft card. I'll come up here. I'll auto pull. It pulls a dart. It pulls uh, some biotoxin and it automatically crafts my shocking trank dart. Now, what's something that is crafted in a tech replicator that's not crafted in all of these? Let's say tech rifle. Select recipe and there's no tech in here. So then come over here I'm going to pick up a tech replicator this happens to be a CS modern one but it, it doesn't matter it could be a, a vanilla one place it here now we're going to go to the crafting station we're going to go to tech replicator then we're going to go to recipe and we're going to go with a tech rifle and here we are a tech rifle we got to select the recipe card well, one. Oh, I do have everything for it. And it crafts one tech rifle. So, in order to craft anything you want in the station, you have to place your crafting stations inside of it. Now, why would you want to use this? You would, might want to use this if you want to have a small base. Let's grab this. Let's grab that. And let's put this out right here. This is where I had this before I, I picked it up. So right here, between the replicator, the fabricator, and the smithy, or the CS crafting station, it's taking up a lot of space. You could get rid of these two and just use the replicator, or you could pick up all of three of these, place them inside here, and just have this little footprint with storage next to it for all of your extra ammos and things like that that you would have stored. So that would be the reason why you would want to use the CS Auto Crafter. Another reason you might want to use it is if you're going to craft a lot of ammunition. You may just put the extra items in here, craft the ammo, and then walk away from it. Although it crafts so quickly, I don't think you're going to need to walk away from it. Now, if you guys come up with any other uh, examples of how to use this, please put those in the comments, because I'm learning how to use it too. and. Uh, we can help each other out with the tips that we come up with how to, how to use this particular structure. Anyway, if you like this kind of thing, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm always reviewing these sorts of things and trying to figure out how to use them. And I'll put a video out about it if uh, you have a recommendation of something. All right, we'll catch you next time.